Hey now. Dun, 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 what is going on, dudes? Mosville, USA. Back with another part in the PS Vita modding series. And today we're going to do something very crucial, very important. Before we start getting files going all crazy, uh, we're going to get our SD2 Vita installed and set up properly. Now what this is, this is a little adapter here. Uh, similar to many things like on the PSP. Will you open your butthole? Will you fucking open? Will you open? Huh? Huh? This makes it so you don't need to use those crappy overpriced memory sticks on your PS Vita. This goes in your game cart slot. Um, and I've got a 200 gig SD card here. You can use any size you want. Um, haven't tested on anything above 200, but 400, uh, I've heard tail. It's good. Uh, anything higher, you're probably good as well. Um, yeah, so it is, it's a little bit more involved than say one of those, um, PSP adapters where you just put the SD card, plug it in and it reads just fine. We need to do some, uh, some software configuration, uh, first. So before we get into setting up this guy. We're gonna to wanna to grab one file, uh, one VPK program that we're gonna install on our Vita uh, from, the, uh, from the interweb. So we're on 3.60 Enzo. If you're just popping in, this will work on any, any version, but as always, I recommend you be chilling on 3.60 uh, with Enzo installed because that is that is the way to go So we got our Vita here, so we're gonna pop on our desktop Here we are on our desktop and we are going to grab the latest auto plugin So 119 releases the latest one is 4.21 released on February 28 very nice. Just go ahead, download it. We got this auto plugin VPK. I've got my little Vita folder here. I'm gonna move it on over. Vita. So we got auto plugin VPK. Very nice. Now, on the Vita, we're gonna load load up shell again. So let's go back to the Vita cam. We'll cruise on over to Vita Shell. We'll open it up. Okay. And it remembers where we were. So we're going to FTP, get the server going. Cool. So back to the computer. We're going to load up FileZilla here. Okay. FileZilla. Quick connect to the Vita. Okay, UX0, that's cool. You can put it wherever. I wanna go into data again, just cause that's been the norm. I'm going to just drag it on over here. Very cool. Okay, now back to the Vita. Got that moved over. Cool. And here she is, auto plugin. Wanna get that installed? Yes. And a yes. Beautiful, it has been installed. Now we're gonna scroll back up. Triangle, we're gonna get rid of it. It's installed. We don't need the VPK anymore. Very nice, and before we get out of Vita Show, we're gonna hit start and we're going to toggle this from FTP to USB um, because we're going to be backing up everything on our Vita as it's going to be moving over to our SD card, which will be pretty nice. So I'm going to get a USB cable, uh, plug my Vita into my computer to back it up. All right, the Vita is plugged into the computer. We're going to enable USB. And here we are. We'll go back. And we're 
want to hit select. Nope. Whoopsie daisies. Okay, FTP. I want this to be USB. And then we got the USB connected. So we should be able to browse the contents of our Vita. So let's go back to the computer and check that out. Very nice. So as you can see, I've got this USB drive here, USB drive G. That is my Vita. And we've got a ton of files. Now, if you have way less, you must be new here because we did this in the first uh, episode. But you're going to want to enable uh, hidden, uh, hidden items and file name extensions under view. And you'll be good. Um, uh, if you don't, then there, you're going to be missing a whole lot here. So we got that. Now it's time to set up our SD card. So let's go ahead and plug our SD card into our computer. I've got a nice little, uh, got one of these guys here. Tada, micro SD card reader. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that in. Now, go ahead, down in the description, you're gonna need a couple of files here. Where'd you go? All right, guys, so you're gonna need to have the zz blank dot image file here, as well as win 32 disk imager. Now I'll have a link for that. Just go ahead and get that installed on your computer, PC, obviously. And if you're on Mac or Linux, just go ahead and uh, either go to a friend's house or just get a get a get a damn virtual box set up already. What are you doing? You know. Now we're gonna want to find our SD card, SD XC. That is me. We're gonna go ahead and format this out the gate. So we're gonna choose format. We're gonna go XFAT default. We're gonna go default allocation, and just give it a go. Format. It is completely nuked here. Now you really gotta make sure to double check the drive letter here before doing anything else. It is, it is K, this is my K drive. Um, Cause once we go into Win32 Disk Imager, Win32, it is very easy to accidentally uh, write to the wrong drive if you're not paying attention. And uh, that could be devastating. See by default, device is G. G is my Vita, so we could potentially just write to the internal flash memory of my Vita, since my Vita is plugged in. And uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty dang sure that would brick it. Okay, so K. K is the SD card. Do not write it to your Vita. Absolutely not. Just be very careful here. And now we are going to go find that zzblank.img zzblank.img load this up cool it didn't change k double check it again triple check it quadruple check it whatever so we got the k drive and we're going to write this zzblank image here go yes all right, written. Now we're gonna, we're gonna close this up. K, K. We're gonna go to format again. We're going to XFAT default. Go. All right. Now our drive should be good to be able to handle the wonders of the SD2 Vita. So now the USB drive G, this is our Vita. This is the contents of our Vita. And we're going to select all here and control C to copy. 
then SDXC, right click, paste. And not so much for me because this is a very fresh install. But if you have a ton of crap, then uh, it'll be a different story for you. But, but yeah, it shouldn't take too long for me. And once this is done, we're going to put our SD card into our SD2 Vita and pop it in our Vita. So I'll see when this is done. All right, and you're going to get this uh, pop up here. Destination has two files with the same names. It's just Windows files. Either or should be fine. Uh, I'm just going to replace it. And there we go. Now let's put the SD card into our SD to Vita. Desk cam, Vita cam. Let us roll. Ooh, that is a tight micro SD cable. So I got my SD card right here. Got my SD to Vita. Just gonna plug it in. Very nice. And now this goes in our game slot. The hell is it? Where do games go? Oh, here they go. Hell yeah. How they go in like this. I'm learning to. All right. Pop it in like that. Make sure it latches. Close it up. And we'll never have to do that again. All right, here we are. Now, we're gonna go back to the home menu here. Close Vita Show. And we got that auto plugin app set up here. Let's boot that up. All right, and as I pop this open, we've already got an update. So uh, yeah, we're gonna choose yes here. Very good. Okay. So once it's all updated, ready to go, we are going to load up Vita plugins here. And first thing is first, we're going to do more uh, in a later video, but this video is for install plugin for SD to Vita. So that's what we're going to do. I want to choose this. And it says to install storage manager plugin, SD to Vita must already be in the game card. Or it must already be ready. And SD Vita must have apps already on it. And you said, as we've already done, we've gotten this set up already. So we can go ahead and proceed since we've already transferred files to our SD to Vita. I'm going to go ahead and proceed. Okay. Okay, so I've set all these up. So this is how you're going to want to do it. You're going to want, for the MCD, you're going to want to set this to UMA0. For the INT, you go IMC0, internal memory. If you have a 1000 model, you're not going to want to do anything for that. Um, for this one, for the GCD, that is our SD to Vita, so we're going to go UX0. And USB, I'm keeping that unmounted. Um, and yeah, now we just go save. Storage manager config updated. Okay. Your PS Vita will restart, so hit OK. And we're going to reboot into our Enzo PS Vita. And we're going to double check to make sure this all worked out now hopefully everything is still working just fine we did clone everything from our internal flash memory to our vita um, sd to vita sd card so this should be gravy we should be good let us see here the auto plugin two auto plugin one Vita shell, let's load that up. Yeah, that, there we go. That's how you figure it out. 
So in system settings, went down to system, system information. As you can see down there, capacity, 183 gigabytes, 182 free space. So now we're good. None of that crappy overpriced uh, official PlayStation nonsense. We got a 200 gig SD card in here for the price of like an eight gigabyte from Sony or whatever the hell they charge for those. Uh, so we're set, dude. Um, yeah, from that, from here, the next video is gonna be we're gonna be installing all the essential apps and plugins. Um, for example, we've got Refood, which allows us to play games uh, that need higher firmwares on 3.60, which is amazing. Um, we got all sorts of other plugins. We've got a plugin that will allow us to plug this into our PC and capture it through OBS. I already have a video on that, but we're just going to get it all installed. And from there, the following video, we'll get PKGI set up with a nice free shop so we can just download whatever we want. Whole lot coming down the pipe. We're going to go through everything. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video.